Welcome to Tabenuri Studio. You might think what two things on my table have in common. Uh, it's limited edition Leonardo, uh, Leonardo Officina Italiana and an egg. And I will show you in a minute. I will start with the pen. It's a limited edition. Uh, it's a Tainan Pen Show 2019. Uh, it's a piston filler, it's ebonite, that's true piston filler and it's not a uh, captured uh, converter, it's a true piston filler. Uh, I showed explosion view of this pen uh, disassembled to basic parts on my, on my uh, Instagram. And this is a different pen. The one I showed you, maybe not different, but a different copy of the pen. The one I showed you was number 30 out of 60 and this one is 28. This one will have an Urushi makeover soon. I will start it probably next week, but first I decided to ink it and to, to feel it, to, to think what design would suit it. Uh, and I think I know uh, what I want to do with this pen. But I will not tell you right now, I will do this in one of the future videos, but it will be very different from the pen I will show you today. Uh, this pen is unique, yeah, it's got a silver, uh, sterling silver band here, it's very different from any, from any other Leonardo in this, uh, in this regard. And uh, I liked it very much, it was sent to me by Tom Westerich from Penboard.de and I think it's it's over. I don't think there are any more pens of, uh, of this kind available, especially in Ebonite, but you can check with, with Tom at, at Penboard.de. Uh, and why I showed you an egg at the beginning? Uh, I have another copy of this pen here. As I said, it's number 30, this one here. And it's already lacquered with a lot of layers, layers of lacquer. And right now it's prepared for another layer. Those two parts are already um, decorated with Raden. And I will be lacquering only this one. Probably this one just in the, in the areas between Raden pieces. And all other parts I will be lacquering today with a technique called Hakeme Nuri and Hakeme Nuri requires the Urushi to be thickened with something and this thickener in my case will be again an egg white. So let's get going. Starting with an egg. I use a syringe to extract some egg white and at the same time I will have control of the, over the amount of egg white. Okay, but I spilled some of it. So you have to clean the surface. Be mixing Urushi based on Kijiro, which is best Urushi for mixing color lacquers, and I will add to it two other colors. I will add red. And I will add blue. My intention is to get this is white, this is blue, this is dark blue. 
blue. My intention is to get purple. It should work. If not, we'll be correcting amounts. First, I will mix those two colors a little bit just to see how they behave. And later, I will add egg white. Uh, the pigments I used I use are already uh, already mixed with small amount of urushi. They cannot be used on their own. They have to be mixed with uh, shuai urushi or kijiro urushi or any other nakanuri urushi, any other kind of urushi which is suitable for mixing pigments uh, as it's they are too thick the contents of pigment is around 70 percent 60 70 percent so it's impossible to to use them directly unless it's a very small area like a dot or something like that i sometimes use them for such purpose doing maki -e or urushi -e. I think the color is exactly what I expected it to be. So that's the moment I should add some egg white. I will add much less egg white than for Tsugaru Nori uh, uh, because I do not want to be so thick uh, as in Tsugaru Nori. You have to work it and it will take some time create a homogeneous paste so I will probably speed it up on the video. It's getting thicker and thicker and it's almost ready uh, so I will try to cover it in one place mix it once again scrape off the spatulas to make sure all colors are mixed properly As you can see, it's much thicker than originally Urushi was. I'll mix it once again. And I will start applying it in a second. Uh, the pen parts are already prepared. Uh, they were sanded and they were cleaned. And I will use one of those beautiful Hake. And this should make the name of the technique clear. Hake Menori. So the design made with a brush. With such a thick paste, the brush will leave strokes. And this time we want the strokes. We want the surface to be uneven. And the strokes to be visible and thanks to egg white they should stay visible you have to press it and and done it's possible that i will have to repeat this process once again but i hope it will work with the first time After I apply this pattern, I will let it cure 
and then cover it with another color. And sand it down. I move the brush in a circular twisting way to make the pattern more interesting. Approaching the threads, so I have to be extra careful. Not to put the space onto the threads because they will would plug and I would have to clean them later with the scalpel or re-thread them. so I will wait a moment and I will repeat the twisting motion on the already lacquered uh, parts. This part again, it's a knob of the piston filling mechanism. The piston filling mechanism knob is in two parts and both are, uh, both will be or are decorated with radon. Uh, radon on the, on the red surface uh, should get some uh, some purple hue also. I tested it on some other pens earlier, so they should match the color and I will later use some darker shade of red uh, as a top layer and then sand it down to reveal the pattern created by those twisting motions of Hake. Hakame Nuri.
Okay. I hope it will be visible enough. I don't know if you can see it, but... Well, it looks cool. Great. So, this was the, the crucial step of Hakame Nuri technique and I think the most difficult. What I will do now is just will use some premixed layer uh, before I did it uh, for the first layer of uh, this pen. Uh, Urushi uh, for uh, for gluing the raden and I will mix it, let mix it a little bit. Mm, if you want to store mixed Uroshi, you have to make sure two things. First, that the container is small and sealed. So small enough for this amount of Uroshi you want to store. And uh, it's as sealed as possible, so with a very good lid. And one more thing to remember about is to get rid of any moisture. So very good idea for getting rid of moisture from uh, Urushi, from the environment where Urushi is kept, is to use silica gel. I keep my Urushi in a, another small box, another small container with a lot of silica gel. And this way I keep it safe. Okay, I will just Add some Urushi red in between those Raden pieces. I think it's the last layer of, of this lacquer here. So the next step will be sanding and polishing of Raden. On this part, but on the other part, you show you've seen before uh, the one with Hakema. It will take much more time because I will need for, to wait for Hakema to cure, then add the top layers, and then I will be able to send it and polish it. Okay. I may sh make sure that Urushi will get everywhere in between those small pieces of Raden and they were cut from Raden stripes. I cut those stripes with uh, laser, cu laser cutter and then I cut the stripes with just a knife, like a scalpel. And exactly the same stripes were used on the other part. So on this part exactly the same stripes are used. Okay. And let's fill those spaces here. Red will become much darker in Furo uh, and I tested the color combination it should work well with the purple after it changes color too. So we'll see. It's quite a risky move, but okay. You have to risk with Urushi sometimes. Okay, that's it. 
uh, I lost one of my lights uh, a second before, so it could change a little bit, as you see. So, thank you. Uh, if you want to see what will happen with this pen later and uh, how, what, what is my idea for the second uh, Leonardo Officina Italiana Tainan Pen Show 2019, one of the longest names of the pens I have ever heard. Uh, and this idea for this one is, is really crazy, so uh, I bet you want to see it. Uh, please subscribe, uh, please like this video and let me know in the comments what do you think I will make with this pen. So, see you again soon, bye!